If you thought you were broke, check out these top 10 real housewives who can't afford their lavish lives. First up, Kim Zolciak Bierman. A breakout star from the early days of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, Kim Zolciak Bierman hit the Bravo jackpot by being one of the rare few housewives to score a spinoff with the network. Things may not have been as easy for Kim as she would have you believe. The reality star found herself in major financial trouble in late 2022 when her mansion allegedly went into foreclosure. The problem comes from a reported $300,000 loan that she and her husband failed to pay back. Number 9, Jen Shaw. Jen Shaw became an instant hit on the first season of The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. She had a luxurious Utah mansion, called her husband Coach Shaw and flew privately. Viewers were confused though about how she afforded her lavish lifestyle considering her husband's role as an assistant coach and her vague marketing related job. It was later revealed that Shaw was involved in a telemarketing scheme targeting older adults interested in business opportunities. Number 8, Erica Jane. Erica Jane, where do we begin? While money trouble is a requirement for Bravo casting, Erica may take the cake. When she joined the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills in 2015, she was incredibly wealthy even by Bravo standards. She lived in a massive LA mansion with gardens, a chapel, and a $40,000 a month glam squad at her beck and call, according to The Sun. But her life changed dramatically after separating from her husband, attorney Tom Girardi in 2020. Shortly after the split, her ex-husband faced legal problems, including the accusation of embezzling millions from clients as reported by the Los Angeles Times. Erica Jane was also dragged into the mess with critics claiming she knew about the embezzlement and that her company, EJ Global, was a front. Next up, Kim Richards. Kim Richards has a troubled reputation on Bravo. According to Page Six, the network paid for her rehab stay in 2011 due to concerns about her drinking. Kim Richards is now sober but isn't exactly living her best life thanks to her money problems. She faced accusations of owing the IRS nearly $120,000 in 2018. Additionally, she had expensive lawsuits after her dog attacked a neighbor and allegedly bit her stylist and assistant. Number six, Dorit Kimsley. Dorit Kimsley and Paul Kimsley, also known as PK, have it all, but they also have some terrible spending habits. Dorit ventured into various side businesses, including fashion design. In 2017, she started a swimwear line and took a $205,000 loan from her former business partner. However, they faced trouble as they allegedly failed to repay the money. Number five, Karen Huger. Real Housewives of Potomac star Karen Huger's finances have always been questionable. In 2017, she faced major IRS trouble despite living in one of the wealthiest zip codes. Karen and her husband, Ray Huger, reportedly owed the IRS millions. Ray made a fortune in software technology, but eyebrows were raised when they sold their Potomac home for less than its worth and moved to a less affluent suburb in Virginia. Next up, Danielle Stubb. Danielle Stubb, a prominent figure on The Real Housewives of New Jersey, has had financial difficulties in the past. For instance, in 2021, after being fired from the show, she faced a lawsuit from her landlord for unpaid rent, totaling over $6,000. Despite losing her job and struggling to pay rent, Stubb continued to spend money in other areas. According to a source, when the landlord asked about rent payments or setting up a payment plan, Stubb suggested that they apply for a government loan if they had difficulty paying their bills. In our number three spot, Sanjay Morgan. Sanjay Morgan's money troubles are among the most unusual on the list. When viewers first met her, she was house poor, unemployed, divorced, and living in her ex-husband's multi-million dollar townhouse, which she has been unable to sell, according to the New York Post. 
Over the next few seasons, she attempted to start businesses and found success with her film production company. But a few years later, she faced major legal trouble when she filed for bankruptcy, claiming to be nearly $20 million in debt. Next up, Teresa Judici. Teresa Judici seems to have a never ending string of problems from flipping tables to hosting a controversial COVID era birthday party. She constantly deals with financial and legal fallout of her complicated personal life. In 2009, she and her now ex-husband, Joe Judici, declared bankruptcy with nearly 11 million in debt. In 2013, they faced charges of mail wire and bank fraud. Both pleaded guilty, resulting in Teresa serving almost a year in prison and Joe serving 41 months. Last but not least, at number one, Taylor Armstrong. The Real Housewives franchise gained national attention when Taylor Armstrong's husband, Russell Armstrong, who she was divorcing, took his own life after season two. Allegations of harm and financial troubles added to Taylor's challenges. Russell's $1.5 million debt and unsustainable lifestyle led to financial strain. Taylor had to sell assets, including her 10 carat engagement ring, to settle the debt. But with that concludes today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and share, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.